For this week's thrift store haul, I have got some books, I've got some Blu-rays, and I've got some vintage Halloween decorations. So let's get into this. First we have Meg. I love Jaws, I love shark movies and stories about sharks, especially when I was a little kid, like in third grade. Huge shark fan. So I heard this book was kind of like a mashup between Jaws and Jurassic Park, and it's actually getting a movie adaptation right now with, I think, Jason Statham. So I figured, why not pick it up? Read it first before the movie comes out and see how it stacks up. Next here, we have two Blu-ray releases of two of my favorite movies, which is actually kind of strange because most people know me as the, a horror guy, and I'm not really much of a sci-fi movie fan, but two of my favorite movies are science fiction movies. That's Terminator 2, which I've never owned on Blu-ray, and the newer Blu-ray of Robocop, that includes the 4K remaster. Just saw this one in the theater, a 35mm print, about a, um, that was about a month ago. And I gotta say, the print, it was a little damaged, but I have never heard the movie sounds so great. Like, that was an experience. Next up, I have a graphic novel here, Godzilla, Age of Monsters. Another great thing I love from my childhood. I was first exposed to Godzilla when I was four years old. It was TNT's Godzilla Bash, 94 on Monster Vision. And this graphic novel, it looks to be a collection of short stories all relating to Godzilla. So this seems like it's going to be a cool, fun, quick read. Kind of interesting, too. Only got this for maybe two dollars and retails for 18 so that was a nice deal. And then last year, I found a bunch of these vintage Halloween decoration, like uh, hanging cutouts. I used to have a bunch of these, like these same ones, but I lost them in a flood a few years ago, so it was nice that I was actually able to find the same ones again. And these are always a treat. And you know, anyone who's seen my um, Halloween decoration videos knows I kind of like more elaborate things, but these are always like, I like the nice vintageness of these. Throw a few of these up in the windows. It has a nice little bit of retro feel to Halloween. You know, that feeling of Halloween that you felt in childhood. And then the last one here is still in the package. It is a 41 uh, inch hanging mummy. And here, let me see what we got here. It was only a buck 32 originally, and this came out in 1995. And this is one of my favorite decorations I had when I was growing up. All right, let me just get this one out of the packing, actually. There we go. First time this thing has been opened since 1995. And there we go. We got it all unfolded now. And as I was saying, I had this one when I was a kid back in the 90s, and it was one of my favorite Halloween decorations, and I have not seen it since the 90s when I was still just a little kid. I remember we would hang this on our apartment door, and it would always be my favorite decoration to put up, except ours, um, I believe, was missing the foot. And eventually, I don't remember what happened to it. I don't remember if it was just one of those things that got lost over time, or if it got thrown away because it got too beaten up. But this way, this is going to be great, because I have not seen this in probably almost 20 years, and I'm going to love hanging this on the door of my home now. And since these Halloween decorations are starting to make their way into thrift stores, you know what that means. It is almost time for me to start making my rounds in the local shops and showing off what Halloween decorations are going to be available this year. So if you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe, and be sure to look out for more of my Halloween decoration videos in the future.